Hello guys, this is Mauro from InputInfoTech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14.342. This is a new uh, preview part of the uh, Windows um, the Windows 10 anniversary update that will be available later this year. Uh, this build doesn't contain a lot of new features and changes as we've seen on previous build, but there is quite a few new improvements. So let's uh, let's get right into them. All right, the first thing I want to show you is that uh, Microsoft uh, now has updated the uh, uh, Windows Inc. Works, uh, workspace icon on the uh, taskbar, so it aligns with the design that we're seeing on the uh, notification area. Everything still works the same. There is a there is a there is a new update for the uh, screen sketch that uh, will fix um, some rotation uh, uh, rotation issues um, that were on that app. And we'll see now we're gonna start seeing more uh, suggestion from apps from the store that also uh, are capable of uh, um, uh, support um, uh, Windows Ink. All right. So the um, Another thing I wanted to show you is that uh, when we start now, when we open, let me see if I can open uh, command prompt. So I'm going to show you the, uh, this is the uh, new updated uh, user control, user account control uh, dialog box. Uh, no longer uh, has a header with a yellow color, now it's blue. And now also takes the uh, dark theme. So it aligns more with the design of Windows 10. And now let me go back and let me show you that on uh, on Action Center, now we can um, do um, we can click with uh, uh, with the wheel or the middle button of the mouse uh, to dismiss a notification as you saw right there. And I can also click the uh, name of, of the app on this case settings, and with the middle um, with the middle um, button on the mouse to dismiss all the notification from that particular app. So let me just do that, and as you can see right there, and and, and I'm just going to delete one uh, notification right there with the uh, with the middle um, button of the uh, of the mouse. Um, those are the new changes in the new changes for Action Center, and there's there's not a lot going on on this uh, area. But uh, let me just uh, go to something else. Oh yes, Cortana. When we go to Cortana now, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, like if I do a search, now the uh, filters uh, have been relocated to the bottom, so now I can uh, filter my search, and I don't have to actually. Um, uh, move the mouse, uh, travel the mouse to the top just to change my, uh, the kind of uh, file that I'm, that I'm looking for. And let me see, like if I'm looking settings, nothing will show up because nothing shows up in settings. But if I do, let's see, Wi-Fi, let's see if I, you see, like shows up right there. And if I do files, it might show up something. But let's just now go there. And that's pretty much everything that's going on on the uh, on Cortana. Microsoft updated also the Cortana on the lock screen, uh, so it works a little bit better, but nothing uh, too significant. Um, the uh, feedback app, let me see if I can open that app. The uh, feedback app, let me see if I can open this one. Now when you create a new feedback, it will basically suggest a category and a subcategory uh, before you submit, so it makes it uh, a lot easier for you to send your uh, feedback to uh, to Microsoft. Let me see. Let me see if I do um, folder crash. Let me see if I do this. Click add and let me see if I, anything pops up. Well, it's supposed to popular here, but I guess it's not working for me. I'm just not doing it right. But you're supposed to just uh, uh, be able to um, add your details in in a title, and with that information, the uh, categories and uh, subcategory will be suggested to you. Oh, right here, I didn't see this. Uh, show category suggestions. I can click that, 
and here you go so you can click where you want to uh, submit that and as you can see it out of fill when I clicked that it out, it out of fill the uh, uh, category and subcategory so I can submit that so I'm, I'm not going to submit this so I'm going to click cancel and that's pretty much all that's new on the uh, feedback have and the um, Microsoft also updated the um, Skype let's see if I can open this the Skype app uh, universal app which is student preview and on this one you can add uh, multiple accounts and it apparently also supports um, a dark theme but I've been looking uh, through the settings and I can't find to change the theme I don't know if it's just the uh, menus that are changed to show up in dark but um, other than that I don't it doesn't seem to work for me let me see if I can open this up again and let me just jump to the Microsoft Edge web browser and on this bill now uh, extensions uh, you no longer have to manually install extensions you can actually um, get them from the uh, uh, from the store so you don't have to manually uh, uncompress and install the, uh, the extensions however uh, for now like if you know the name of the extension you can go to the store and find it but if not you just come to the uh, to the settings and click extensions and get extension from the store and that will take you to the uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Edge website and you can now uh, click the um, uh, the extension you want there are not too many so they're listed right here right now you can click that and that will open the um, uh, the store and then you just click um, in this case free that will install let me see if that uh, installs the, uh, the extension on the uh, web browser and if you up if you are upgrading if you're a Windows Insider you are upgrading to this bill uh, you will actually lose your extensions uh, that you manually installed before and you will have to reinstall it through uh, this method let me see if I, I got a notification that's been installed and now I get the uh, notification here and I turn it on and I should that's supposed to be it let me see I don't I didn't even have to restart the uh, browser or anything so that's that's pretty cool so this is an extension uh, the uh, page analyzer uh, more for the uh, developers so but there is other extensions you can get like you know Microsoft Translator, Mouth Gestures and and OneNote and, and the uh, Pinterest button uh, but one, uh, one other important um, uh, feature coming to Microsoft Edge uh, I don't have a touch screen on this computer but you can actually uh, now um, use uh, swipe gestures left and right to move between pages uh, this is something that's been on different browsers for a long time and even an Internet Explorer but this is new to this browser now if you're using a, a tablet um, or or you know a two-in-one device you can actually now uh, just swipe back and, and swipe forth just to move between uh, web pages on your um, on the uh, on the web browser Another uh, introduction on this um, on this bill is the uh, real-time notification for websites for Microsoft Edge, and now basically you will uh, websites that start support that support notifications uh, will push alerts to to Action Center. Uh, I seen this in the past. I don't know what Microsoft meant with like now there uh, uh, that's included on the uh, web browser. I tried it before and it worked and but apparently officially uh, and on bill 14 uh, 342 that's when that um, uh, real-time notifications co uh, actually comes to the um, comes to the web browser also on Microsoft Edge there is also um, uh, apps for websites so basically like you were uh, be able like you're able to do your phone uh, if you have installed for example like the Facebook app and you try to go to the site and it will open the uh, uh, the app instead the same will happen on Microsoft Edge at this time there is not uh, apps that support this on Windows 10 but Microsoft already in includes this feature for uh, on Windows 10 so when apps uh, get updated 
and later on when you go to um, uh, for example like uh, maybe like Reddit or Pinterest or um, uh, Facebook and, and sites like that that uh, they're likely to have an app uh, instead of uh, instead of going to the site you uh, you will get the app instead uh, however you can actually uh, on, I'm gonna show you in, in, uh, in a little bit that you can actually disable this uh, uh, feature on the uh, settings tab if you, if you just want to access the, uh, the service uh, through uh, through the web browser and not through the uh, uh, through the app so uh, with that said I'm just gonna jump to the uh, to the settings app because that's where uh, a lot of the changes always happen. Uh, there is not a lot of um, uh, visual uh, changes or drastic visu uh, visual changes, but uh, all the um, most of the icons uh, for pages has, has been updated, and some of the uh, options have been rearranged. As, as you can see, like if we um, when we open System and default apps uh, used to be at the bottom, now it's at the top and now we got a different icon for storage and now we can also see multitasking and like uh, like i was talking before now we have the um uh, apps for websites uh, nothing's going to show up here but here's where you come to uh, turn off a, an app so it doesn't uh, uh so when you go to the website it doesn't open uh, the app instead so um uh, let me see what else now uh, I'm just gonna show really quick. I'm gonna go uh, uh, fast through this, and so you can see the new icons has they have been updated. And now that we're here, now let me show you that a, ne a network and internet on a status. Now we have an updated um, uh, network status, so it tells me that I'm connected to the internet with a with the new icons. And Microsoft have uh, has the uh, has removed the. Um, uh, uh, the options to test your speed uh, that might be coming in the future we don't know that yet and there is one more features that I didn't notice on the last build that is that it's also uh, on on Windows 10 now does the uh, network reset and when you go there and when you go there now you can reset the uh, uh, your network adapter and you can read right here all the stuff that it will do and you will need to restart your computer so if something's not working right you just come here, click the reset, and start over, and see if that fixes any Wi-Fi or any other networking, even VPN uh, soft, uh, software. Um, if that fixes that those issues, so you can uh, get back online again. All right. So uh, let me see Wi-Fi. Oh, and Wi-Fi. Uh, and Wi-Fi is it's something's going on too, uh, which is grabbing a lot of attention, but it's something like uh, not too significant on Wi-Fi uh, sense Microsoft have removed uh, the uh, the ability for you to share uh, your uh, wireless password with um, with contacts so they can access the uh, uh, the net uh, the Wi-Fi network without you having to tell them the uh, the password so apparently uh, Microsoft realized that nobody was using uh, that and 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 also there was kind of a security concern so uh, they removed that feature, but a Wi-Fi sense is still there, and it will only work for um, suggesting uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. So you can uh, you can still enable that to um, uh, to get connected to um, uh, I think it's a crowdsource um, uh, access points. All right, so you're also gonna see that we have uh, some updated icons uh, as well, but there is nothing um, new on this uh, on this area. So now let me go back and let me show you personalization that we have the new icons. Even for the start, there's a new icon and for and for the taskbar, but there is like nothing new there either. So we've seen all those uh, settings before. Let me go to accounts and let me jump to. All right, now I get that. Uh, let me show you. So uh, there was something else on accounts. All right. Yes, uh, um, this link is new, so now you can set up an account for taking tests. Apparently, Microsoft is going to bring some sort of um, uh, feature to to allow uh, computers to be set up for taking tests. So you can come here and and enter uh, uh, the um, 
on the test web address and the uh, and the account that you want to access, and it will make the computer more secure, so uh, to avoid cheating or just to set up for a testing environment. So most users won't be using uh, this feature a lot, but uh, testing centers they might be able to uh, benefit from this uh, from this feature. Let me see what else. Let me go back and settings. Nothing has changed and nothing else has changed on this area so if we go to time time and languages nothing has changed now we get that prompt every time um, now we had narrator uh, with the with a new icon and so for other uh, for the other pages but there is like nothing new either um, let me go to privacy and privacy there's also new icons and there's nothing new um, uh, in updates and security um, just new icons there is nothing new apparently soon we're gonna we're gonna have an icon for the uh, Windows Insider program but that doesn't show up yet and that's pretty much all the uh, new uh, the new changes and features for uh, for this bill uh, there is a lot of fixes known issues that I'm going I'm gonna put a link uh, below the video so you can go and check them out and for more uh, for more details and improvements also I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave a link for those uh, because there is there's also some other changes uh, on the operating system that are not visual they are just under the hood changes for example with the uh, bash on Ubuntu on Windows 10 uh, which has been improved and some other in some other tweaks but other than that there is no uh, and much changes on this bill so don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing